Hi there, it's Karen here from Turquoise Treasures. Welcome back to my channel um, and today we're going to be working a little bit more in my journal for baby K, my new little grandson who is not far off. Um, my, my baby girl has only five weeks to go and she's getting very uncomfortable. We saw her yesterday and she's, <laughs> she's really ready now for him to arrive. She has, she's got pretty large and uh, yeah I think I think he's beginning to weigh heavily so um it kind of put me in mind of, of wanting to get this journal done because you know it could he could arrive you know before his due date and he's due in five weeks so so I thought I'd better get cracking and get a bit more done um I when I think at my last video I wasn't sure I'd, I'd actually even make another video for this but in between I've been thinking of other things I'd like to do so I thought I'd come on and do and do this one and see where we, see where it takes us. So um, I haven't yet sewn in my signatures. I haven't really done I haven't done anything literally since the last video, um, other than some preparation for today's video. So I have my three signatures. Originally, this was going to be my first one because I quite like this um, little saying at the front. Somewhere over the rainbow, skies are blue, and the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true. So we all know that song. Um, but actually, I want to put something on the front um, myself, so I'm swapping them around. I'm going to do it on this signature, I think. I think this is the best one to, um, to do like a welcome. I'm going to do welcome to the world, and then after when he's born, I'll put his name on the front. If I can squeeze it on, a little picture as well, but that will go in somewhere. So I'll either put his name and a little picture or his name and a picture on the next page. I'm not sure at the moment. But I just wanted to start off just saying welcome to the world um, and then wait to see who he is before we put the rest on. So that's um, so I'm going to do that first. And then I'm going to make um, a, a snippet roll, which I'm going to use for edge strips. So I'm going to make quite a long one so I can just cut it to where I need it. And possibly I'm going to start on some ruffles as well. So I won't get everything finished today but I want to get this done and then we'll see where we go with the fabricy things so I think I'll just keep this out and um, I've also want to I've been thinking about what I'm going to do for a topper on the front of the journal because it really needs some work on the front and on the spine and things but that will only be happen after I've sewn in the signatures so maybe that will be another video who knows um, so right let's do this I've got some, this is some of that 120 GSM card that I've actually, well it's not card, it's paper, that I've actually used for the journal for printing all of these um, bits on. And so it's not too thick but it's sturdy enough to, to punch onto. And it's a lovely smooth, smooth paper so it'd be great for punching. I've made a start just to try and decide what colour to use for the, what colour ink. So I started off with a cobalt and I quite like that and that's what I was going to do and then I suddenly had a thought what about some what about red it might stand out a bit more and I think red is what I'm going to go for um, and these stamps they've I've always had I struggled with them a little bit they're the perfect size but because they um, always when you punch the the letter you often get a little bit of the edge showing and, it, and you know, I ended up whenever I've used them before just keep having to wipe the edge around to, to keep it clean so I've decided I'm going to embrace that edgy bit and actually make it into a bit of a frame. So I've got this one which is I've ended up with a nice frame all the way around for the first W. So hopefully I can more or less get it right. I don't I don't they don't need to all be perfect. I mean this one I've got a bit missing at the top and the bottom and I feel, still think it looks nice. So I've just been playing around just to see how it looks if I try to include the frame. It's not really meant to be a frame, but the bit around the edge, and I think that's what I'm going to do, and um, and make it and make it a frame. So I've got my W. So oh, what am I doing? This is the front. So the idea is I'm going to do welcome around here, to the, and then world on this little arch here, and I thought that would just be a nice little bit as a front page, and then I can put his name down here. It's on <laughs> on on Teddy's face. So, I mean, I have no idea whether it's going to be, he's going to have a middle name or just one name, how long it's going to be. So that'll have to all happen afterwards, won't it? Because I don't know what they're going to call him. They're not even sure themselves yet. They, I think they have a few options. 
So I'm just going to start stamping and see how it goes. And if it doesn't look how I want it, I'll just do it again. I've got plenty of this. I've got plenty more paper I can use if I run out. But I think this should be enough, I hope. So let's let's go for it. So I'm going to do the E. Whoops. Welcome. Just roll it around to make sure I get a bit on every... Try to get a bit on all sides. And then do a little rocking motion. So I've got most of it on. That's fine for me. And I need another one. Don't I? Welcome. So I need another one. I need three, I think. So I might as well just do them all in one go. At least when it's got the frame on it, I can put it back and... Yeah, well, that's worked out. And I'll do one more, because I've got one in the... Okay, getting better at this. Then I've got a little square punch. I suppose it's probably half an inch. So, and I can just... If I if I print if I <clears throat> punch it first, I can get the not punch it first, stamp it first. I can make sure it's central when I punch out the letter. Okay, so I've got my ease. Then I need an uh, put that back. A little wipe. And get the L. Yeah, so it was nice, nice to see, nice to see Hannah yesterday. They had to run for dinner, and oh, that's a bit too much. I made a bit of a mess of that one. Um, I'll start again, I think. Yeah, so George cooked, because he does cook anyway, so she's really lucky there. And uh, bless her, because I say, she's getting quite uncomfortable now. So she's got this big blow-up ball. It was Jenny's when she had Alyssa, and she found she used to sit on it a lot when she got this sort of size. And um, she was sitting there chatting to us and gently bobbing up and down on her ball. <laughs> No, don't like that. I'm going to do it again. And it, in the end, Richard was sitting there and he was popping up and down with her. <laughs> it was like mesmerising. Uh, horrible, horrible feeling. This is too much again. For some reason, I'm getting too much ink on this corner. Let's just maybe try and get a little bit off without taking it all off. Let's see how that looks now. See if I can get a bit more at the bottom. Okay, that works. Okay, and the different letters are coming up a bit slightly different to each other as far as the frame goes. So that's well, and I need the C. I might come back and do the L again. It's not quite as I would like it, but I'll keep going for now. See how they come out. I'm going to learn to press a little, a little harder. I think it's it's, a, it's nearly as tricky to get it with the with the frame as it is to try and get it without the frame. That's better. I'm just going to trim this bit off so I can get my punch in.
So if you can hear a voice in the in the background, it's our, our electricians here doing some work for us downstairs. We're getting a few things moved around and new electrics being moved next week. Right, to the work. Got a W to punch out the W. What do I do with it? I'll put it on here. Okay, W R O R. Right, so um, I just paused the video for a moment because the electrician was about to go, so we need to have a little chat with him because he's coming back next week to do some more work for us. Um, yeah, we've got some complicated electrical things going on and the meter being moved and things, so he's going to... So he just needed to chat to us about what was happening and what we're gonna, what's happening next week. So I just had a quick thought about... Uh, as I was saying before, before I went, that um, this was beginning to look a bit too big. So I'm wondering whether to do the to the in another way. So I'll, I'll do that in a moment. I'll just finish world. So I need another L, don't I? Didn't realise I was going to need two of those. So I should have done it before. Let's see. That's it. that one. See how that looks. I think that'll be okay. Didn't get hold of it properly. That's it. So the other thing I've done, so I might just, just, I'll just put the world, finish the world off and then we'll have a look, but I think it might, might be okay to do the, to make the two the smaller and maybe it'll be okay. So I take these out. Put my R in the middle. Welcome to the world. That might be okay. If I can fit it in there, then I've got plenty of room left and I'll have to think about how I I do the little one's name. But I'm going to perhaps you try using these, um, these click stamps, which I really like, but they're a bit too small for the whole thing. But they might be just what I need for the small words. So I need the T. I need both T's. E and H. Let's try this. So T H T H E and then the to the I'm going to stamp them on here. Actually, the two might just go in. I wonder if the... Ooh, that's not going to go in there. In that square. But 
this might, so let's do that. And okay, I'm going to do two again because didn't quite come out as I'd have liked. The tea is a bit faint. That's better. Okay. Just put these back. Right now I'm going to Just cut it out, but I think I'll trim it down. Just a bit. Both top and bottom. Okay. And of course it's not quite straight at the top. Ooh. And I'll get my trimmer, I think, for the for the the. the. straight that it that side but also I'll just line up the side I know is straight and hopefully that's gonna be okay. Where's the two? There it is. I may have cut the um, underneath the, the a little bit close, but I'm just going to trim that down a little bit more. That might be okay. Let's have a look now, see if that looks better like that. To the... How about that? I think that might be okay. I need to just trim this a touch more at the end, even it up. To the world. Welcome to the world. And then I'll put something down here. Not sure quite how that's going to work. So it's a bit scary to do this without knowing how I'm going to finish it, but if it really goes horribly wrong, I can reprint it and start again. <laughs> Not that I would like to do that, but you, there's always that option when you're working with paper, isn't there? You can always redo it. So, I think I would like to just get these glued on. And, and then we'll move on to doing the fabric-y things. Start with the C in the middle and working my way out.
Right, so I've got these all glued on. I'm quite happy with how that's turned out. This looks better, um, making those smaller, I think, and it just makes it a little bit, um, a little bit more contained, not quite so much in your face, too many letters. And I did edge around the words a little bit with the red just to bring in the idea of the frame. So yeah, I'm pleased how that's turned out, I think. Um, not quite sure yet what will happen elsewhere, but we'll, we'll get to that when the time comes. So my next job is to do some bits to go around the edge. And yes, it has got a bit chilly here. The, the, it's been raining and I've, I've had to put a jumper on. So I'll put that to one side. Now one of the things I like to do, I love making ruffles, but they, they're quite time consuming for me because I have to do it this way. Um, I have shown it on camera <coughs> quite a while ago. This is my method for making ruffles, which I thought I'd just briefly show you. Um, because I know a lot of people just take it and fold it as they go and feed it through the machine, but it, that's not an option for me. Um, so all I do really, it does mean you have to, you get, you get through a lot of pins, but I just have to do them a couple at a time, a couple of ruffles at a time, and then reuse the pin. So I just fold and pin the whole strip, just like that. And uh, yeah, it takes a little bit of time to do. And this will probably only make one, a, a ruffle for one page. So, so I'll just, just fold and, fold and pin. That's all I have to do. I was just going to show you just so that anybody like me who perhaps struggles with things like, you know, like doing ruffles on the machine, like a lot of people do. I've seen people do it and just um, fold as they go and it makes it, if you've got, dodgy hands it's not an easy option and this is this is the way I found works for me and then all I do is feed it gently through the machine and uh, pull out the pins as I go down so nearly at the bottom I don't don't really need to show you very much of this process I just thought I'd I just thought I'd show you in case anybody out there is thinking I can't make ruffles and it isn't, it isn't too bad if you do it this way. You just need a lot of pins. But I'll just probably make do, I've probably got enough here to do a couple. And then as I, as I, re, I use the pins, put them back in, make another couple more. So I've got a whole pile of strips here ready to go. Um, so I've got this blue fabric, um, another couple of pieces of the stripe. I've got this more neutral colour. I thought these colours would all go nice in the journal. Um, along the edges so that's one option so that's some ruffles that I'm planning to make um, for, you know over the next little little while but the other thing I thought I might do today and I've got some strips of white fabric and I would like to make a quite a, a long uh, uh, snippet roll just because the, and then I can just cut cut it as I need it and then I'll just wind it up onto something I did have a little um, cotton spool but I don't think it's going to be big enough so I might have to use something else I'm not sure what at the moment what I'll wind it around because I'm planning on making quite a long one so I won't obviously I won't manage to finish it today but you'll at least you'll see get an idea of where we're going with it and I have a whole pile of fabrics um, lots of shades of blue some neutrals um, there's a bit, some bits from the actual cover fabric. I'm not sure about this. This is really thick woolly fabric. I don't think I'm going to use that. That's just too thick. Um, so yeah, I've got a, a whole selection of fabrics that I thought I might use. Just cut up into little, little pieces. So let's just cut up a few bits and then start gluing them on. I'm going to just use my glue stick and um, I think this is the piece I've cut off a, it's a coffee dyed piece of fabric. I think it's an old slip that I you know wear under skirts and things that I've coffee dyed. I'll just get my glue stick. Don't need the pins anymore. I'm just going to cut up a few little pieces. Love this little bit of fabric. I was going to make some, some ruffles out of this, but I think the other colours coordinate much better. This was a bit different, so I 
think I'll uh, I'll just use it on the snippet roll. I tried tearing it, it didn't go well. It all just curled up on itself at the side, so I've had to cut it. Um, let's, do a, let's do a few of these. I think I've got a few other bits here. Yeah, I've got a few bits. I think I'll just cut up a few little bits into small pieces like that. They only need to be yeah, they don't need to be very wide because I just want them to be just a bit wider than the white fabric, but not very wide. Right, so I now have this big pile of fabric strips, uh, strips, pieces, little tiny little pieces that I'm going to glue onto here. Um, and I have got about three of these white strips, although I can't see the third one right at this moment. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. No, that's just a small piece. Well, anyway, I won't be able to do it all. Here it is, anyway. Um, so I will just glue on as many as I can. And then we'll see how it looks. And afterwards I will go through down the whole thing with a um, sewing machine. So I'm going to use my Yoohoo. It does seem, works, seems to work quite well on fabric. Better than I thought it would. It seems to hold better than I thought. So, But it'll be sewn anyway. So I'm just going to do glue the actual white strip itself and then add the pieces to it. I will overlap them a bit as well as long as there's enough glue to hold them in place I won't glue those bits and a little piece so they're all Similar um, similar shades apart from this one, these ones which are a little bit different, but that's okay. Got to have a few bits of contrast. So I've got some quite dark blue, very dark blue felt here, which is a little bit different in texture. It's barely wide enough. I've got a slightly bigger piece. Yeah, that one that one might work better because I think my my white strip gets a bit narrower further down as I'm not not great at uh, cutting straight just keep keep adding the glue oh there it goes I knew it had to go eventually been using this one for quite a while I 
think I need a is that wet? Not no, wetter to get the glue off there. Right, let's just get my new glue stick out, just here. Had it on standby, I knew the other one was coming to the end. piece of this I'll just make it a little bit smaller and this piece not quite big enough This nice blue. I'm not going to leave them dead to plain. Um, I've got some little bits that I'd add as well. But these are just to decorate the edge of the pages, so I don't need them to be overly decorated and also I'm not going to use lace in this journal much as it pains me not to but I think it doesn't work wouldn't work for a boys journal This little check piece. There's um, what else have I got? Let's dig deeper. Oh, yes, let's have this piece. Well, I don't want two checks to get next to each other, do I? Uh, over that piece, it's not got enough glue. Amazing how quickly you fill up your fill up your strip. I've probably done far too many pieces of fabric. Little pe you know, these little pieces. I just kept kept cutting them. What was I going to put on there? This one. And it's a little bit big. piece of coffee coloured check and if they're a bit wide I'll, I'll trim it off possibly after I've sewn it if it looks a bit too wide I don't really want it really wide to go on the edge of a page more glue So you can see the colour scheme is coming together. If you can call it a colour scheme, it's beige and blue, really. And I'm just going to add the next piece of fabric. I'll just put an extra, I might put a little bit of this glue just to hold it. Hopefully it'll help to keep it together. It's almost the same width. And then we'll just do a couple more pieces and I'll show you the little bits that I'm going to add 
just to make it look a little bit more child friendly shall we say tricky part of the join isn't it right so a little piece of this one there's a few little tiny bits of pink creeping in from that fabric but we'll overlook that shall we he won't mind he won't notice I'm sure a bit more of the navy how far down are we going there's no more glue on there so okay let's just go back to the top and we'll just add these few extra little bits. Let's get rid of that. And they're just bits I've cut off from some of the other fabric. Some of the main fabric. So I've got them in here. So I've cut off some of these little animal letters. Isn't that sweet? So it's a K for koala. I mean, it's all it's the it's the paper from uh, paper. It's the fabric from the cover, but it's actually picking out all the little characters. And putting them on and I think that's really sweet so I'm going to do that because I would like to I'm going to use my glue some paper for these little bits I think I think these are very sweet and I think that just gives it a little bit more character and we have oh a little cute Elephant. Really, really sweet these. And you don't see it so, the detail so much on the on the whole piece of fabric. But when you start cutting it up, and because the whole, oops, the whole thing look looks like that. So it's quite busy, and you just kind of get an overall idea. But this way, you get to what I do with it. Oh, so it's still on the glue. You get to see it. Oh, I think that's lovely. I do think they're sweet. I've also cut up a few of these, but I think these might be too big to go on here, so I might have to put them on other things. They're way too big to go on this snippet roll, so I think we won't use those. I've got a couple of bees I could put on, maybe. I'll cut it down a bit. Bee for baby. Maybe. How would that look? Put that down there. I can do that. Why not? Put a little bee on. I've got a couple of those. I might just pop that one there. Now, let's find another little little creature. So we have a unicorn in the shape of a U. Only just fits. I might just have to just trim them a little round a little bit. Be fine on there. All right. Okay, like that. So I think this is going to look really sweet. Love it. Okay. Let's put a few more on, shall we? And then we'll just carry on. So we've got a little R with a little, it doesn't show very well, but it's an R for a rhinoceros, I think. Because it's got a little horn on it. Because they're so close together on the fabric, some of them are quite difficult to, to separate from their neighbours. Should have probably trimmed it a little bit more, and perhaps I can still do that. Just trim off this little top bit. It's a little odd sticking up like that. That's better. Okay, do one more and then we'll carry on going, going down. 
I'm going to do this little giraffe. I'm just going to trim him a little bit. So adorable. <laughs> I'm loving how these are looking on here. It was just a sort of last minute idea to add these on. But oh that's not glued on very well, is it? Oh it hasn't hasn't taken very well. They will need sewing. No doubt about it. Now we'll need a bit of sewing. Now I'm all just I've got bits of fabric all stuck to me. Right, a bit cleaner now. I'm just going to keep rolling it up. I'm going to add a, another one, I think. I've got so many to choose from. They're so cute. What one shall I put on here? Little mouse? Or a lion? No, the lion's the same colour as the giraffe. Put him on in a minute. Okay, I think I need a new... No, is it? That's not too bad. Uh, right. Little M. And we've got a fox, little fox in the shape of an F. And there. Right, now we've got to add some more little squares so I've got more things for my to glue my little characters on. Let's roll it up a little more and then we're going to need some more glue on them. This is one of those jobs that just you could do all day. Love doing this. So normally I'd be adding a whole load of lace on top and really fencing it up but not this time but actually I think it looks sweet just with the little the little characters. That's a bit wide. Right. I think my bit of white fabric has got narrower and narrower and narrower. But actually, as long as the bits on the top stay the same, it won't notice. Um, and I can, I'll trim it probably after I've sewn it. So I'm just going to put a few more of these little characters on and then I'll call it a day. It is really addictive doing this, so I'll probably go on. Well, it'll probably be okay because I'll edit, I'll edit a lot of it down or out or whatever just to get this all on. Because this is kind of the fun bit. There we are. A little lion. What else have we got? Oh, we've got a little tiger. Oh, and a zebra, look. Little, cute little zebra. Uh, where shall I put him? In there. Yep. Just curled under a little bit. Okay. And um, we'll put the tiger on, I'll just tidy him up. No, it's wrong way up. I thought he looked odd. So that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my cat's face just because I had him upside down. Alright. 
it. And the Tifa Tiger on there. Right, I'm going to just carry on doing this probably for couldn't do those air long until I run out of bits of fabric or white strips, whichever happens first. So you can see where we're going. Let's have a look. So I'll just pull it back. And it, it will need sewing. This has slipped. I think I need to put him back in the middle. Yeah, I'll, I'll just run a, a seam down the middle, a little stitch. Probably a straight stitch. I don't want it to um, cover up these little characters too much. So I'll do it in a very, like probably a cream. Hopefully it won't show. Either I'll either do, go down the middle or do one either side so it just doesn't show so much. I don't know. I'll think about that when uh, when this is all dry. So there we are. It's been so much fun to do this. I'm really pleased with how this is going. Um, and I look forward to putting it into my little journal. I'll just remind you what we did earlier. Did the little Welcome to the World printed and uh, stamped and punched out and I've started on the ruffles and I've done a fair bit of my snippet roll so we're kind of making progress getting things ready to put in the journal we get we're all getting very excited about his little fella's arrival in the not too distant future now he's really beginning to seem not not so far away so thank you for joining me today for this little bit a bit, little bit of a this and that sort of a video, but that's how it goes sometimes. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.